Alright guys, so I've been uh, working a little bit more on uh, my modular mapping system here. And uh, what I've done is I've created three heights with the transitional pieces in between here. So these are the highest, as you can see the it's uh, the floor is at 128, the ceiling is at 256. With this one, it's uh, it's at 0 and then 128, and this one's at negative 128 and 0. So you have three different tiers of pieces which you can link together using these transitions, the stairs and the lift. Um, of course, you can always make your own transitions when necessary. That's the beauty of this is that you can use this to lay the groundwork and then fill in fill in the blanks wherever you have to. Um, I'm going to keep the pieces, the, the odder pieces, pretty minimal because this stuff's more like personal taste. But uh, I'm leaving these in here pretty much for uh, for inspiration. You got, I'm going to keep the windows, going to keep the spawner pieces, the big spawners, the archways, and uh, I added in a lava room that kind of shows you how to do the instant death. You know, you uh, you just use your sector damage line death action, use your sector tag damage amount, and you can choose what the what the death reason if, is if it's water. If you change like the floor to water, you can make it that they drowned. You can set the lava. Um, if you just have a really, really f far fall, you can make it that they fell too far. You can use a generic suicide, what have you. But I have it set for lava just, just to show you how it works. Um, so you can use this as like a danger room in between two areas. Uh, but just as a... Just to start, I'm going to show you, I'm going to make a quick map using this system. So I'm going to start off with this here. I'm going to move my player into this room. And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to have a weapon spawner right here. I'm going to put this right in this first room. Right there. And what I'm actually going to do is going to do the, take the same thing and put another one right here at the bottom because I love symmetry. But we're going to turn this into a chain gun. So now we'll have two weapons in that first room. Then let's put a T-cross. I'm using the basic height. I'm using the middle ground here. So I know where I'm starting at, and I know what pieces I can use. I'm just going to put that one space apart because I'm not going to connect these all just yet. Then I'm going to take this T piece. I'm going to put one up here. And then I'll take the same thing and put it down here. So now you can see we're branching off into different, different realms. Now I'll take the rounded angle piece. I'm just going to rotate that. I'm going to do the same thing on this side and put that right here. And let's see, for a good connector I'm just going to have a nice big open square room to put right in the center. And see this actually already connects. It's, that's already the perfect distance. It's already linked up correctly. So we're going to keep that there. I'm going to put in one of these little, uh, uh, you know what, I think I put in the wrong, <laughs> the wrong height. Yeah, not a problem. I'm going to go down here, take this one and put it in the center. This one's the correct height. All right. And I'm going to take one of these funnel pieces and put this off of this main, main hub right here. So now you see that'll link into that. Uh, in our T pieces, off of them, I'm going to put two more of these big main rooms. And I'll have some more pickups and stuff in there. Now, off of this connector piece, I'm going to put a step down. I'm going to put a one of these ones. I like this style, so I'm going to take this copy and paste. I'm going to rotate this to the way I got to have it face. I'm going to have it like so. So now I'm going to start using the lower level pieces. So I'll start off with another one of these main hubs. 
And I'm actually going to make this whole thing loop around. So I'm actually going to select all this and just move it up a little bit so I have some more space to work with. So now we're down on the lower level here. And let's get another one of these T's. Take this, rotate that again, and we'll have that ready to go right there. And then I'm going to use another one of these L pieces. I'm going to have that one there. I'm actually going to move these to fit what I'm doing here because I'm going to put a connecting room one of these little narrow hallways. This is going to go in between the T piece and our L piece. So I'll put that there. That one's actually already linked up as you can see. So I'll take these and just link these up. So as you can see, I'm saving tons and tons of time from having to draw these sectors. So now that we got these out here, let's get one of these let's get one of these fat T's. So we got a bit more space to work with in there. Do the same thing on this side, just gonna just gonna rotate it so that it fits in nice and snug. Take that and there it goes. And off of this let's get let's put it let's put some doors in there so I can show you how the doors work now with the door it comes with this buffer space in between you can shrink that to however big you really you really need it but I'm gonna put that door there rotate this put this door here now the only thing you gotta do with the doors like I said is just change the sector tag so I'm going to use a nice high number. I'm going to go to 10. <coughs> Excuse me. And then for these. Now the weird thing about Doom Builder 2 is if you want to set this sector tag to 10, actually increment this up to 11. And then if you highlight it, you'll see that it's actually, uh, it'll actually go to sector 10 sometimes. It really, it really depends. See, it, sometimes it doesn't register the second one. I just hit decrease that to 9, but it went to 10. So, we set that to 10. I'll use 11 for this one. So we got that set. And now we just, again, go to our line deaths. See, they went to 10, even though I set them to 11. So you actually have to go bank to 12. And now that'll appear. I don't know what that is. It might just be an issue with Doom Builder, but whatever. And then just to finish off, let's take one of these narrow corner rooms. And let's connect that to this door, like so. Now let's do the same thing on this side. I'm just going to rotate, and I'm going to go up here to my uh, flip tool. So now I've got it flipped the way I got to have it facing, and there it goes. And then let's just do. Let's have one little connector room. One of these. One of these guys right here. And another one right here. So now we've almost got a full map. So what I'm going to do is just grab these lines here, connect them to that. These, oh, connect them to that. So what I'm doing right here is I'm literally just connecting everything together so that you can actually walk through it. But it's all completely modular. And th that's the beauty of this is that if you wanted to add like a different curve to this T piece or something, you could and you can give it some more depth, some more detail, do whatever you want to do. So now that we've got that connected, we're going to take this and drag that down. So see, these T pieces can can really be useful because uh, 
they're going to come in handy for a lot of connecting stuff because you can just drag them to be whatever size you need them to be. So now I've got a nice nice full map but let's uh, let's take one of these spawners I like this one, I like the more intricate ones and let's put that where our main where our player one is going to spawn so what I'm actually going to do here is grab this area sometimes you gotta grab different areas of the sector in order to make it line up if it doesn't just decrease your grid size and you'll be able to move everything however you need it so let's get that dead center let me move these objects since they didn't uh, move over when I moved all the sectors so now we got a nice little little spawn sector there we got our weapons and let's add some more stuff I'm gonna put a health pickup right here in the center I'm actually gonna put some enemies in here I'm gonna put some chain gun guys I like the chain gunners let's have him staring right at you when you come around this corner put another one there put some regular dead commando guys F poor former humans we'll put them in these little little tunnels here so they'll come at you when you when you go down that hallway and then we're gonna put two more right here at the bottom of the stairs to shoot you in the back when you get down there and then at the end here we're gonna have let's see let's put some imps some more serious enemies up in here so now we got some imps and I'm going to put some ammo around here for the shotgun because that's going to be our weapon of choice for for this map. So I'll put a box of shells there. I'll put a box of shells down here. And I'm going to put some little some health packs down here in case I get fucked up on my way down. So now we've got some health packs. We've got a level made out. And, uh... We're, we're good to go, so I'm going to save this. And uh, I apologize in advance for the lag. Uh, Camtasia just does not like Doom f as much as I do. But I'm hoping you'll still be able to see it. So here we are. This is our main room. Uh, i got to go in there and fix some of them because, uh, you know, when you're, when you're connecting stuff like this, you're bound to have things like this where you're getting a hall of mirrors. Um, let me make sure I use the right, the right heights there. I'm going to go into my 3D mode and head over to the map we just made ah yeah see I used uh... I used different heights for these well luckily enough that's uh, a relatively easy fix that one's taken care of see that's another cool thing is that you can you can really adjust the heights however you want if you need to if you need to make a downward downward grade somewhere, you can do that. Um, see, I just fixed those two relatively easily. Ah, yeah, this one's the wrong height as well. See, so you just bring that down till they line up. Do the same thing here. Now this is our down step. You can see our guys hidden behind there. Um, like I said, when you have stuff connecting like this, you, you're gonna you're gonna have to tweak some stuff around. But I'm actually gonna use this opportunity to put in some neat little detail here. I'm gonna put in uh, those door door stops. And then I'm actually gonna put a door track over here and make it look like there would be a door above these stairs, but in reality, it just they're static. We're going to take this and just put our normal star gray. So now we're downstairs. You can see the downstairs is all connected. We got our doors. There's our imps. Let's head over to this side, make sure everything's kosher. So now as you can see, we've got a we've got a pretty nice little map set up here if you if you look at it as a whole for taking about 
five minutes to really put together, it's not, not all that bad. But let me go back into Doom and try and show you as best I can with the lag. Alright, so let's take our... Oh, I just alerted him. Let's bust out the shotgun. takes care of oh takes care of him so now we're into our main room got our shotgun sh there's our guys take care of these pesky imps oh let's go get this other one get my health back up and he's done so as you can see, uh, you can you can make levels really really quickly with with this system, and uh, like I said, you can change and alter anything you need to. If you wanted this room to be five twelve, and this one to be five twelve, all you gotta do is grab a couple grab a couple line defs and drag them out, and you can see that sh that that almost changes the entire you know look look and feel of the level. Um, you could even do something like this. We could bring this down. We could connect these T pieces to the center room and make everything flow together. So now you've got different pathways you could take. I could add a couple more enemies in these hallways. And, uh, <laughs> it looks like I made a little Starship Enterprise there out of my map. But, uh, <laughs> you know, you can really, you can really do some, some interesting stuff with this. And I, I actually had, had this idea... Uh, a while ago, but I never really got down to putting it into practice, but I'm, I'm glad I was able to get this together. Um, the download for this WAD with the uh, with all the pieces in there is right in the description. I have it hosted on my Mediafire account, so you can just get right in there, download it, and get to work. Um, like I said, if you you know, you're more than welcome to go in there, change the textures all around, and create a separate tile set for yourself for whichever map you're working on. So, you go in and you take you know, maybe 10, 20 minutes to do some preparatory work by changing the textures, ceilings, and flats on, like, one row of these. You don't even have to change all the different heights. You can you can go in, you can copy this one and did like I did earlier. And you can put that in there. And if it's too tall for you, you can just bring it right down. So let's go in here, see? Now this room looks like it's too tall. So you can go in here, grab your ceilings, and your floors and just lower this right down so you don't even need to change all of those textures you can just go in and drag it right down to whatever level you need it at and pretty much start knocking out maps really quick and the best thing is uh, I'm hoping some of you guys will take this as inspiration to make your own pieces and make your own custom modular map maker you know if you have a certain style that you use for your maps go ahead and make a bunch of prefabricated rooms that use that style and whatever textures you like the most so you can build your own maps really quick but uh like i said the download links right in the description and i would love to see what what you guys come up with using this system